Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick little comparison here because people asked me about it uh, with an iPhone 5S and a, a iPhone 6 prototype basically here, like a 3D variant, uh, which is pretty awesome actually. It's pretty cool to check it out. Now, it may not be the real deal in terms of size and everything, but it could be, and that's the cool part. So, um, iPhone 5S on the right side. Let's um, check this out. So you can see that there is a major difference here in size. I mean, we have the rumor that the next generation iPhone is going to have a, a um, 4.7 inch display and also power button here on the right side. You can see that this one has it. So let's just um, check out the thickness here. And you can really, really see that there is quite big difference. Just also check it out if I would put this one on top. And then you will also be able to see that there is a big, big, big size difference uh, compared to what Apple users are, at least what they uh, usually are aware of and like to use or have used now for quite some time. Then again, you can down see here at the bottom, uh, which could also be a little bit interesting here to see. We are probably uh, on this new prototype here, we've been seeing that we've only been seeing a speaker on this side and not one on this side. So Apple might do that little change. When you go a little bit more close up here, you can also see the difference. Uh, that the new iPhone has this like iPod Touch, iPod, a iPad Air design, uh, way more rounded uh, on the sides, just because if it's bigger, uh, that probably feels a lot better. Then of course we have this thing with a power button on this side, right side, instead of having one here at the top side, just because that, that feels you know better. And of course it is a lot wider. Uh, this um, this prototype here, uh, which definitely is interesting. And how much higher is it? Like length one centimeter or something. And here it's just like half of a centimeter, perhaps. So um, yeah, I mean, definitely pretty interesting. The thickness, of course, is the most interesting thing. Hopefully, if the next iPhone is gonna have this thickness, that's gonna be insane. It's almost gonna feel like an iPod Touch, and I also might do a comparison uh, with an, uh, an iPod Touch and, and see you know, a little bit more in depth. Uh, we have been seeing this little thing here that you don't get, the, at least from what we've been seeing, that the, the prototype and everything hasn't had like a dual LED flash, so Apple might skip that in the next generation iPhone. Hopefully the battery in the next iPhone won't be super horrible. It's probably not because Apple usually don't do that. Uh, both fits still pretty nicely in the hand, but there is a difference here that, uh, I mean, the current iPhone, the 5S, you can kind of reach, uh, You can if, if you just hold it like this, you can kind of reach the top uh, pretty easy. Uh, but when Apple pull off a little bit of a bigger display here, it's gonna be even harder. But then again, you will get used to it super, super quick. Uh, because, I mean, everyone's using it nowadays, a bigger display. So what do you think about this? If you wanna see more videos like this or something, definitely let me know about that. And I definitely will see what I can do. So yeah, quickly look here with the iPhone 5S. Peace out.